Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got finger paints, fairy tale, and I'm going to double stamp. I've started off with Peel Ease, and here is finger paints. Look at that. <laughs> fairy tale. I'm going to go in with my first coat. My base coat is already on and dry. You see that shimmer? Oh, it's just green and gold just popping straight off of that. Gorgeous. Being sure to cap my ends. Here we go with our second coat of Fairy Tail. I am drawn to the pink polishes. They just call my name. They sing out Tina. And I just I have a, a natural attraction. So this one's just right up my alley. I'm going to top this off with Pure Ice Girl on the Run so that I can get it to dry down. So I can do some stamping. But you guys can see that, that it's just, that shimmer is just popping smooth off of that. I'm going to be using this um, plate XYL28, and I can't remember what the other one was. I'll try to remember to list them below. My Bundle Monster Scraper, and my French White from Wet n Wild, and Clean Colors Metallic Green. I've also got that AliExpress stamper out, and my latex is already on. But I got these little acrylic plates in a set, <clears throat> excuse me, off of AliExpress. And um, if I can remember, I will try to remember to leave a link down below. But we're just going to stamp this image on first in that metallic green. Clean that plate off. And apply some of this white... And gonna go over the top of that same stamp and my little mat here is um, just a little baby silicon mat that I got at Walmart I believe it was over in the craft section but you might want to look in the craft section and in the foods like cake decorating section of your Walmart um, I have seen these also on eBay it works really great for the stamping and for making decals and all kinds of good stuff I get asked about it every time I use it, so I thought I would throw that in there. Um, it's, I can't remember the measurements, it's like four by six or something. It is very small and I like that. So I'm just stamping these images just all over my nails. I'm trying to line them up and I do pretty good on most of them. I don't do so good on the pinky one, but you know, it's, it's okay. Peeling that latex off, nice, easy cleanup. Here we go. And I used a couple of different butterfly images. I just thought, you know, hey, let's mix it up a little bit. Doesn't have to all be exactly uniform. And see, I'm, I'm struggling with this one. I'm trying to figure out how, does, how do I get it to go on here? I keep turning the stamper around and I go in and it's not totally right, but it's okay. So now that I've got that done, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here with my acetone and my cleanup brush. Tidying up a little bit. I do prefer to do my cleanup as I go along. Oh, up under there too. Yep, got some polish hiding out underneath. I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat. See all that stamping on in there. And then we'll be done. This manicure will be finished. But I would love to hear what you think about it. Um, you can leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Got a swatch photo coming up here in just a second. There we go. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.